Hello and welcome, I'm the Imperial, and this is Star Trek Resurgence, and we are gonna check out what's up with Miranda. Now, so let's, let's jump right in there. Her face looks a little bit weird from this distance, but let's talk Shall to the guard here. Okay, well, then don't talk to me. Jesus. I hope you had a good day, I'm sorry. I didn't want to snap at you. No one seems to worry about me just walking around here, so that's good. I mean, we're all in Star Fleet, right? What have you got to say for yourself? If there was a chance between you two, I think you've blown it out the airlock. Hope you're happy. Miranda doesn't deserve this. We're supposed to be her friends. What did you want me to do? I wanted to bring her to sick bay. You weren't there until the very end. Man. We were at the start of something good. And you throw it away like that. I never thought you'd turn on me like this. I didn't turn on you. You brought this on yourself. Unless you have some kind of explanation. You think I owe you an explanation? Starfleet and its never-ending search for answers. I mean, yeah, that's the whole point. We tried to find the other members of the security team that went to Hotari, but they're missing. We found their comm badges stashed in the Jeffrey's tomb. Well, that's not you good. You hurry up and find them. There's not much time left. Miranda, if you know where they are, you have to tell us. We're all Starfleet here. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Not anymore. I have a new purpose now. Here's something. What is it? Maris didn't get bioscanned after returning from Hotari. Neither did the other two that are missing. None of them were scanned. Which should not have happened. She came over and helped us open the engine compartment. The others, too. They must have used it as a way to skirt the scan. So they knew they had to get around it. I'll scan Petty Officer Maris and get some data to cut through all this speculation. I think it's better if I do. Why is it better if I do it? Open up two. Which other one? They're all empty. Why do you have to specify this? Oh yeah, that's not creepy at all. Oh good god. Oh! <laughs> that didn't help. What's going on with your heart? Ridiculous. Higher than average. What's up with your brain? Anomalous synaptic frequencies detected beta wave and delta wave output out outside established norms. Data coming in. Come here for a second. <laughs> Come on. Did you know? Know what? That's not Petty Officer Miranda Maris. What are you talking about? It's right here on the tricorder. But uh, look at her. She's an imposter? Like, like a double? Or a spy. How is that possible? All I know is that she might look like Miranda. Walk and talk like her too. She has different brainwaves and even different DNA. Dang. She's the same person we left Starbase with. I'm going to feed this into the main computer and run some more analysis. Commander, there's got to be something we can do for her. This is incredible. By some process we don't yet understand, Miranda's body is being rewritten. Her mind has been remapped to another personality, and her DNA is resequencing. I'm not sure the extent of it, but it appears to be pervasive. Something, someone has taken over and is bioforming her. That's a crude way to describe it. <laughs> this is a problem. A big one. What have you done with the real Miranda? Where is she? You're looking at her. I'm Miranda. But so much more. Oh no! 
The others. I bet they didn't set their phases to stun. Oh. Had my hands off the keyboard there. Nearly got me killed. Just slap the hands away. Don't let them get the storage drive. Yeah, why are you not using it? Nice shot. Well done, I. No, no, not Miranda. It's not in the Universal Translator. What, the stun didn't work? Quickly. Who the hell are you? We are the scions of the flame. Stop her! They're getting away! Shoot her! I am 100% shooting her. Why wouldn't I? Like, seriously, why would I have not shot her? Scions of the flame? I don't like the sound of that. Oh, they did set phasers to stun. How kind of them. How very responsible. this the reason the universal translator didn't recognize that language is because it's only ever been read it's, it's a con language what a surprise the seed of violence get your filthy hotari hands off me we'll burn your planet to the ground animals wait no <laughs> So he's also becoming a Tacon. And they're all not Totari, but Tacon. This can only mean our time has come. I'm only sorry I couldn't find a more suitable host for you. All in good time. This is only the beginning. They're working together? An Olydian and a Hotari? They did something to him. Secure the Cartabula. The Cartabula? Well, okay. Thanks for woman explaining. Spread out. I'm sure Search she knew that. Okay, dang, Go we're back through the mine. Cut off their escape. Find them. Time to go. Escape the mines. And how? Oh, yeah, okay. Before three guards were too much. Use your phases to take the enemy. Hold and cover. Enemies may require more than one shot. These didn't. <gasps> it's not very effective of them. Blocking the only exit. Wait, we can use the machine to make a new exit, no? Maybe not. Can you buy me some time? Oh, of course yes. I can. This vehicle looks a lot tougher than that barrier. Uh, 
Enemies will shoot at you when you're out of cover. Sparks and smoke will form from your cover will indicate they're trying to line up a shot. Release and then okay. If you take damage three times, you will fail your mission. Okay, they're just kind of leisurely walking around there. Very good. Shoot Careful. The Hotari woman. No, don't shoot the Hotari woman. Enemies will also target your allies. If an ally dies, if we fail the mission. If a uh, shield appears over an enemy, they're targeting an ally. If it fills complete. Oh, no. Who's targeting her? Stop it. Stop shooting anyone. Stop it. All of you, how dare you? <laughs> I like that in the... It's like, oh no, I can't possibly fight three of them. And now we're just, I don't know, killing half the Otari military. If we can call it that. Yeah, that's... That's some Otari on Otari violence right there. Do I have to press a button or do we just go? Oh! Uh, yep. Hold on to something. I don't, do we know where we're going? Oh, no. Apparently not. More shooting! Don't stop. I'll handle them. Clearly. If appears you can switch use WASD in the direction of the cover. Some enemies will be only be visible from certain angles. Okay. Oh. Kill the one driving the machine. I don't even Huh? No! Ah! Ooh. I don't know if I did all that well here. Tylus. Come on, Tylus. You, you can do it. Get up. Oh boy. We're surrounded. We all get it working. Just need some time. Of course. I've been doing nothing but generate time here. No, no. Don't you dare. Here we go. Oh goodness. That's actually quite hectic here. That that thing didn't completely crush all the metal in front of it is a small miracle. Let's get ready for another quick time event. I mean, if we go in there, we just go pulled up, no? The lift. Come on, let's try. Resolute, two to beam up immediately. Resolute, come in. <gasps> no! Ah! She was hit with a crystal weapon, wasn't she? Find an escape route by staring at her very slowly. Uh, what am I looking at? Why is this not going any faster? What's happening? Am I supposed to look up? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's go. Let's drive this thing into the thing. Doing? 
that the heavy for the tractor beam? Commander, we read you, but there's too much interference. Transporters still can't get a lock. <laughs> okay, how are we now saved? radiation is saturating our sensors there is too much interference to pick up the residual transporter signature wait wait wait, wait. tetrametric radiation of course of course i can align the transporter with the tetrametric signature the crystals emit tetrametric pulses every 3.8422 seconds roughly 26 centihertz all of this is connected the storm the warp killing field the crystals miranda's alien transporter tech I can't even enjoy the techno babble. Okay, I've got the transporter in calibration. There are a lot of biosigns in that mine, all stacked on top of each other. I need something to identify the commander's signal. Something loud, energetic. Understood. Oh, I'll be gonna do a very romantic we kiss right now to penetrate you know. the storm's interference, but we Thanks. are unable to pinpoint your signature. We need you to generate a high energy event to help us. High energy event, got it. Tylus, are you still with me? I am good. I'm going to shoot my phaser in some dilithium. To okay, not fuck me. I thought in more romantic terms, but... That's not safe, I don't think. Is that energetic enough? More than enough. I can lock onto the biosigns now. No, oh, can I? Use to aim. Use to clear debris. Use to select targets. I've got their biosigns isolated. Commander, we have your signal. I'm gonna tunnel a path through the ionic interference. Oh no. Select waypoints to create a path through the... Use uh and select the drag waypoints. Okay, so that is actually a pretty neat little mini game. Oh, I like that. That was fun. Very short, but sweet. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. What? Lock the frequencies just at the right moment. Uh, move. Lock. The bar fills when your cursor are in the distance between the waypoints. Is the greatest blue power bar at the bottom is. Added when each yellow bar is locked in blue bar. If you do not have enough power when you're locked in the third bar, you'll need to try again. If you have having trouble finding a spot where the moving waveform is touching the edge and wait for the moving waveform. Uh, okay, I don't. What? Bar fills when you cursor where the distance between the waveforms is the greatest. Uh. Okay. Ah, right, got it, 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 got it. Oh, it does lock, actually, in. Okay, sure. I've got a lock. I thought they kept moving, maybe, but... Oh, I get to energize. And my hand isn't even on the thing that we just slid up to energize. Okay. Can't have everything. Dash their dastardly plans. Petty Officer Diaz. We're losing no. the power ah. degrading. Can you hold the signal? I'm trying. Explain to me how to hold the signal. There, 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 there. No. Why is it not working? There we go. Do it. Come back. Come on. Is this a Star Trek? It must work. Very good. Very good. Yes. Get her to sick bay. Captain Solano and Ambassador Spock have just returned from Hotel. Take a look at that. Ryder, I need you on the bridge now. 
<laughs> so, okay, sure. <laughs> what what this? Turnabout. The Elidians are preparing to attack Hotari. Status report. The systems are now fully powered. All torpedo tubes open. They're preparing to fire. We should hail the Elidian flagship, Captain. Readying phasers if you want them. Stand by. Await my order. Well, Captain. Station commander. We need to act quickly. Hail the Elidians. Maybe we could talk some sense into them. Hail them. No response. Try it again. Still nothing. The Elidians. They've powered down their weapons. Ah. Uh, you sure about that, Mr. Amon? They're venting some kind of gas from their ship. Hold on. Now all of their systems have shut down. That's unexpected. Commander Ermont, scan them again. We have to be sure. No mistaking it. They're dead in the water. And so are we. What's happening? There's an energy dampening field coming from Tau. Take us out of range. Aye, Captain. Captain, the flagship is hailing us. On screen. Zeldi to the starship Resolute. Our main power cores are completely disabled. The more power we give, the more it takes. Running off batteries. Life support systems have failed. Unable <coughs> to ventilate. Contaminated atmosphere. Admiral, you are about to launch an attack on a defenseless planet. Kobliot. You sided with the Hotari in the negotiation, but that does not matter now. My okay, just ignore the captain. Die. Please, I beg of you. You must render assistance. Of course, we Starfleet. Some failures are compounding around my ship. We'll help you. Yes, we will. Thank you. Admiral, excuse us while we devise a rescue plan. By my estimate, the crew only have 23 minutes before their atmospheric mix becomes lethal. While we may not be able to transport the Elidians directly, if we were to transport them from their ship to a nearby shuttlecraft, it should be possible to amplify the transporter signal there and reroute it to the Resolute. The Ambassador's plan is incomplete. An away team will have to beam aboard the Zeldi and set up pattern enhancers for a stable enough signal out of the dampening field. Thank you for identifying my deficiency, Commander Chobak. Jara, I need a senior officer in command of this. Take Chobak and Bedrosian in the shuttle and get it done. Okay. Petty officers Diaz and Edsilar, you will be part of the rescue mission, as will I. We will bring the shuttle within transporter range of the Zeldi, then beam you both aboard. Beam us on board? Why? The pattern enhancers must be placed on the Zeldi to make it possible to beam the Elidians back to the Resolute. Gather the pattern enhancers and get to the docking bay. I'll take the respirator and I'll take the pattern and emitter. There was more information earlier, but it was only in the subtitles. There's 107 Elidians on that? that ship. We're going to rescue the Elidians, the people that oppress the Hotari, when we should be going to rescue Miranda. This thing that's happened to Miranda is like the Trill symbiosis joining, only worse. And I've seen too many people I care about wiped away by some greater entity to stand by while the same thing happens to her. I wanted no part of it then, and I won't stand for it now. Bodies stolen and used like puppets. I'm not giving up on her either. We'll get her back. I just shot her. I mean, I you know, I, I tried to stun her. I tried to keep her on the right ship. Now, but I have a feeling that the game is not going to see it like that. Yeah. Chovak is a born sprinter. He got here way, way quicker than us. All right. Okay. Both playable characters on one ship. You usually shouldn't do that. That's very dangerous. There's a, there's a good chance. Okay. Activate shuttle engine. What is the other thing? Shuttle hatch. 
I mean, maybe we seal that first. Like, what if this ship now breaks? Then we're all dead. There's nothing left for us to do unless we become the captain. I wonder, would have picked Car gone personally? Or would he have sent Riker? I think Riker would have volunteered and Picard would have been no. Acknowledged Resolute. Melville taking off. Let's go. The Ionic Storm will fill your path with dangerous hazard. Green light will damage the shuttle. Taking damage three times fails a minute. You can fly through the rings created by the storm if you pilot carefully. Alright, let's try and pilot carefully. Okay, that's a ring there. Um. Yeah, okay. Have we taken damage yet? I'm honestly not quite certain. Ho ho ho. Nearly got us. I mean, these Furmark donuts are probably way more dangerous than they look. Oh no. <gasps> oh. I don't know. I, I have no inkling of of the of the dimensions of the ship. You know, like I don't. I don't know what we're looking at. In terms of where does do we end? Where do we start? What is an actual problem for us? What isn't? Like that looks problematic, but it might not even be. You know. Like, Oh god. I feel like we're doing okay, but we just might not be. Okay, our waypoints over there all of a sudden. Wait, did I just Okay, I think Okay, I think we lost. I think we had to restart. But I couldn't be sure. I think we have to fly through the rings. It's not like... It sounded like you would get a choice, but... I don't think we actually do. I wish there was some way of seeing how we're doing, like how many hits we had. There's a timer down there that's, that keeps going down, but I'm at full impulse. I can't go quicker. Literally nothing I can do about that. Any closer, we'll put the shuttlecraft at risk. Oh, okay. All right. That was weird. Preparing to transport the away team. Energizing. Just gonna say, boy, I'm not part of the away team. <laughs> Hello, Elidians. <laughs> We're here to help. Please worry not. Errand of mercy. Well, okay. Maybe we're a little bit late to help, but we'll try anyway. The ship's life support. It, it's almost completely drained. <laughs> and the other systems too. Oh no. 
We gotta get to their transporter room. Okay, let's let's the do a little slammer slalom All around the are going to die if we don't get them out of here. The Elidians. These must close in case of emergency. They don't have enough power left to function. Carter, give them a charge with your phaser. Should make them open. What both of them? Does one suffice? Okay, there's more of them. Uh, okay, we know how to crouch. But do we know how to vault? Very versatile. Very versatile, the system. Boop. It's not working. No power's running through any of this. We gotta get him open manually. Stop. I am the ranking officer here. State your intentions. We are under siege. Explain yourselves. What does it look like? We're here to rescue you. And yet, you cannot even open a door. Whoa there. Oh, sure, that just I helps. I am still able to stand. What are you trying to do? We gotta get into your transporter room. Then we can get your people off the ship. Sure. <laughs> Look at all that alien technology looking so alien and chrome and smooth. Ah, it's pretty cool. That's a big transport room though. Okay. Make sure they're evenly spaced. We need to manually adjust beam trajectory so they connect. I got this one. You get the others. Sure. <laughs> that doesn't feel very evenly spaced, but I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Clonk? Why do I have to watch this animation every single time? Come on now. So what? You set up one and I set all the other... Okay. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Now what? I'm pressing tricorder, but... What am I supposed to do? Okay, just... Okay, ooh! Oh, fancy. Um, this one... Mm -hmm. That's cute. And this one... Careful now. Watch your face. And this one? Yeah. Alright. The pattern enhancers are aligned and ready to go. Let's round them up. These will boost the signal so we can transport through the storm. We have a shuttle outside this ship that will route the signal to the Resolute. All crew to transporter room two. We are evacuating. We're alive. <laughs> Low power.
How are they even still walking? And there's only like five of them. Okay, coordinates. Beam status. Energizing controls. Love it. Please we step on the platform so we can evacuate you, Admiral. The crew goes first, Harminter. Sir. I mean it. You! Get on the platform already! Okay. Ooh. The interface is an Elidian, but the layout is the same as a Starfleet transporter. Is it? Just gotta do what I did before. Select the people to transport. Plot a path through the ionic interference. I don't know, that looks a little bit more interfery than it did before. Okay, just have to calibrate the signal gain to get the highest possible output. And... Probably over out here. Just have to wait a little bit. Don't worry, everyone. Don't worry. We, we, we almost have it. It's it's right there we go. It's right there. It's fair enough. Even at this range, the interference is too much. The system is suggesting better transport coordinates. Diaz, the shuttle. You're sitting right in the thick of it. I'm sending you specific coordinates for a clear signal path. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> Waypoint's been added to the navigational computer. There, Commander. Give or take 50 meters. I mean, that's... What am I supposed to do? That is... Six point something kilometers. Oh, oh, oh. Give or take... Oh, give or take 50 meters from that point onward. Okay, all right. Now, now I got you. Now I got you. I got you. I got it. I understand. Like, am I supposed to fly through these? Is this... I really don't quite understand the system in this. Like, why can't I go just straight? Okay, now we know what it looks like if we're getting hit. Finally. Finally some answers. Like, why can't I just go like this? Appears I can. I like that the waypoint was already there before we ever got the information from the ship. Melville to away team. Energize. Ooh. This time our fingers were in the right spot. I have the first group of Elidians in the pattern buffer. Redirecting and transmitting to the Resolute now. Don't look so worried. We got this. This is Resolute. We have the Olydians safely aboard. <laughs> we did it! I was so worried this wouldn't work. We got this. Good work. Keep it up. Yes, Commander. This is Commander Rydek. We're holding steady. Signal is good. Keep them coming. those in my charge sir i must insist you go so you can lead our people i will see to any stragglers yes that may be for the best but first let me thank our human saviors i'll pin medals on your uniforms when this is over for all your brave work 
Not out of the woods yet, sir. So if you don't mind. Oh yes, forgive me. I'll try, you fool. You silly, bullheaded fool. Get the admiral to safety. Energize. Oh no, not the admiral. There's nothing can happen to him. <sighs> no, we are trapped. Did the ship Enhancing just change? Sending available power to the annular confinement beam. Oh, thank goodness. I have the Elidians in the pattern buffer, but I cannot resolve their signal to send them through to the Resolute. Nor can I materialize them here. We need a better position with the Resolute. Yeah, let's go. Better Resolute position. So I don't have to go through the Fermark Donuts. But they will appear in my pathway, basically. That's how it goes. And you're kind of pushed into them. Like, you're not... I can't just fly over them or around them. The heck is that? Just part of the ship flying around there. That donut really wants to be in our way. Okay, this one too. There. What? Ah! Careful maneuvering for sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is our waypoint? I think it's blinking in that direction there. Kinda got away from us. We're nearly there now. Come on. I am losing their patterns. No! I need more power, but internal relays are not functioning. I'll do it manually. No! I am trying. I will lose the transport if I do not have more time. The signal is resolving. Uh, no! Um Dang Sorry, we tried, happens. We have lost the fifteen Olydians in the last transport. Well, I regret to report that we have lost the last transport. My comrade. The Admiral. Unfortunately, our shuttle systems were damaged by the power surge. We can no longer serve as the transporter node. Carter, these readings are off the charts. <laughs> Low power. The source of the storm is on this ship. That must have been the power surge. When it came on board. Right. It's a con energy source. They call it the Cartabula. It's here. Is that? The intruders are preparing to bring the Zeldi to war. And we're about to be stuck on it. There is an old Lydian saying about leaping off the hot skillet and falling to the flame below. Yeah, we got that one too. We don't know where this ship is going. But we are not lost. We can still do something. We can still fight. We'll stop them from getting the Cartabula wherever they're taking it. I like this plan. And I shall fight with you. I mean... That's all well and good. But if we're not getting off this ship... What other options is there for you? A corner here. We can't get off this ship. But maybe I could target somewhere on, on the ship. We are reading the warp engines powering up. Yeah, we picked up on that. Do not have a way to evacuate you from the Zeldi. The shuttlecraft is too heavily damaged. That's all right, Commander. We have a plan of our own. We're gonna stay on this ship. That is very bold of you, Mr. Diaz. 
What? Live long. Chovak, you're impressed with us? Aren't you saying the Vulcan thing? I hear voices down the corridor. We're probably dead. Be here soon. I'll guard the door. You just get us out of here, Diaz. Hey, Stretch. Help us with this map. Find somewhere as remote as you can. You're almost here. Uh, crew quarters, cargo bay, bridge. Bridge? The first place intruders would fortify. There. The aft cargo bay. That is acceptable. Sounds good to me. Whatever you're doing, do it now! Oh, dang. This again. Under pressure, too. We're locked in. Oh, yeah, I don't have to do the rest then. Very good. Come on, Bell. No! I don't think there's much we can do about that hole. Carter! Read a transport. Not Bell. Energize. Oop. No dramatic shot through us. I don't feel so bad about shooting her anymore. Then again, maybe she might not have tried to shoot me if I hadn't shot her earlier, so. I'm uh, not sure what to say or think. on the Zeldi knew the risks their duties entailed. Contact the Resolute, Mr. Chobak. Have them bring us back. Yes, Commander. Very tragic situation. Time for some eyebrow work. It's just the right amount of Star Trek violence and death and stuff in here. So good. Dead reckoning, huh? Maybe we can fix up Bedrosian? Saved as many Elidian lives as you could. And more importantly, you looked after your crew. That's what counts. You have to look out for your own, first and foremost. I just wish I could have saved them all. We all do. But you did the best you could. So, no point beating yourself up over it. Unfortunately, the Admiral was among those who didn't make it. I'm sure it's a huge blow to the Elidians. I hope they don't blame us. We suffered our own losses as well. How are we getting our away team back? Ambassador Spock and the rest of the senior staff are waiting for us in the briefing room to discuss just that. I wanted a chance for you and I to speak first, given the circumstances. While protocol might suggest we alert Starfleet about our situation, missing crew, the data breach, possible threat from the Hotari or Khan. I think we're better off keeping this to ourselves. What is under your Arcan problem? We do not have this under control. We, what is at stake for you we do not have this under control. What's wrong with you? Really counting on your support. Yeah. 
Lovely. False alarm just yet. I have every false alarm before it gets any worse than it already is. I'm sorry, Captain, but this isn't about you. The lives of everyone who wears a uniform are at stake. I don't see it that way. Well, <laughs> congratulations. We're ready in the briefing room, Captain. You're an utter Where fool. Is there any update on our Goodness. efforts to trace the Zeldi's warp signature? Unfortunately, no. Somehow they were able to mask the signature and block our ability to track their trajectory. I'm also concerned about what went with them. A Taconian energy source. Sidron referred to it as the Cartabula. Yes, I've been analyzing your tricorder scans. This Cartabula is more powerful than any energy source on record. It disabled our ability to warp and likely created the Ion Stone. Something that powerful in their hands? We have to find that ship. It could be anywhere by now. Literally anywhere. We should alert all stations to keep an eye out for that particular ship. You're saying we should warn the entire galaxy? I'm saying we do the math. Calculate their maximum speed against a given time interval. That gives us an expanding radius of where they might be at different periods of time. We alert the stations at each radius at regular intervals. It's casting a wide net, but it's at least worth a shot. A sound approach. The Takan also compromised our systems when Petty Officer Maris stole data from our computer core. We're assessing what was lost as we speak. It's just too soon to say exactly what they had access to. Starfleet needs to know about We're this. We're not contacting Starfleet until we fully understand the situation. There are too many unknowns. They stole our data. That's reason enough to warn Starfleet. But the captain does have a point. It might be better to wait until we know more. We shouldn't take any chances. We should at least alert Starfleet that our system was compromised. I agree with Commander Rydak. We should let Starfleet decide how they want to handle it. And essentially tell them this mission was a failure before it's even over? No. That's not how we're going to do it. Not on my ship. <laughs> Fine. I want to speak with the Haktari and get to the bottom of this before we get started. It's no wonder you keep getting into trouble. I expect we'll meet resistance. The Hotari think we violated our neutrality by entering their minds. Assuming the negotiations are off, we no longer have an official role here. We still have a responsibility to the Hotari. And the Olivians. The Takan are a threat to both their civilizations. No. They're a threat to us all. The device Commander Rydek found in the Taconian vault is an advanced delivery mechanism for a complex biogenetic transformation process. Meaning what, exactly? Not only are they bioforming innocent hosts, transforming them into Takan. They're taking the DNA and engrammatic data of a specific Deconian and displacing that of its host. It's a hostile takeover on a cellular level. Dang. Bringing individual Takan back to life one by one. Is there some way it could be reversed? That's exactly what I've been trying to find out. So far, it appears the answer is no. Once the Taconian takes control, the displacement of the host is irreversible. And the bioforming appears to be permanent. Petty Officer Maris called herself a scion of the flame. But the computer had no information about it. She also shot the hell out of my ship as she escaped and nearly killed a few of our crew. So we know this about those scions. They're dangerous. The Takan have crossed a line. That much is certain. However, Meeting with the Hotari could offer insight into their true intentions. Under the pretense of an apology for betraying their trust and trespassing on their territory. What if there are no Hotari left? If Galvin and Sidron were to come, who else? The Queen? I think we would know if that were the case. H how? How would how would we'll we know that, Captain? Portion. You are Tabula gun, I can confirm we have regained war. Sort of incompetent, sir. Use of our transporters. Excellent. Commander Ermot, see if we can arrange a meeting on Hotari as soon as possible. As Ambassador Spock suggested, under the pretense of an apology. Aye, Captain. Nice work, everyone. Hmm. You're long overdue for a Deridium infusion. I sure am. 
looks like I am. Let's go take care of that. Aside from almost running out of Duridium, you're in good health. Nice to get some positive news for a change. <laughs> you I don't worry about. Captain, however. Go on. You see it, don't you? He's desperate. Withholding intel from Starfleet just to save his reputation. That's not normal behavior for a captain. I was relieved you called him out on it. You've spent enough time with him now. Seen enough of how he runs this ship. If there's something wrong, as the ship's doctor, I need to know. Don't sugarcoat it. You know I wouldn't. I mean... To be honest, I'm worried about him. It seems like the stress of this mission is getting to him. He has so much riding on its success. And I am concerned he'll do something rash to He'll do it. something rash? Future you know, tense? Eye to eye on this. And I want to be clear. I care about Solano. I really do. I've been his doctor for years. There are more important things at stake than offending an old friend. If it gets any worse, you know where to find me. Because the doctor can relieve the captain of duty. Jara. But we don't know. They might Monitor be compromised. I'll be right back. How's your wound? Like it was never there. I mean, except for that cratering you, scar right? there, but okay. Thank you for saving my life. Even with the wonders of your technology, it wouldn't have mattered if you'd left me for dead. I should be thanking you. You took that disruptor shot for me. Without you, I might be the one in sick bay, or worse. You are in sick bay, well, but okay, I sure. I couldn't just let you die. Not after all you did to help. I won't forget it. We saw the truth down in those mines. What Citron and Galvin really are. Who they've become. The lengths they're willing to go to. What they did to that Lydian. It's hard to accept. That everything I thought I knew so much was a lie. What we learned down there will help us win this fight. Truth is power, and we'll use that to stop Galvin and Sidron. If you're right, then it was worth it. I truly hope you're right. Commander Rydek, you're needed on the bridge at once. What is it? The Hotari have agreed to meet. Dang. And I think this will be something for another episode, so... Thank you so much for watching this far. I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, check out the Discord, and also, you know, maybe the Twitch. We stream three times a week at the moment. Hope you have a good one. See you on the next, and until then, bye-bye.